uh, we focus on, on the far right as well. Uh, you're right, Libby, uh, neo-Nazism, uh, white supremacy, you know, Jews being uh, blamed for controlling the world, and we have to also focus on the radical left. And we have many, many fronts yeah. uh, to deal with, um, including the COVID uh, that's been mentioned. In fact, during 2020, uh, we found in our statistics uh, that more than 44% of violent incidents were COVID-related in, during 2020. And, and COVID and its prolonged stress on our society, and that's just one of many issues. Uh, obviously, we can't deal with them in depth here, but COVID and its prolonged stress on our society, I would, I would say, has become yet another excuse to promote anti-Semitic conspiracy theories. I mean, it, we reached the point with, is there anything Jews can't be blamed for? Um, in fact... Um, uh, we, we also see, of course, an obsession with uh, uh, Israel bashing hidden under the guise of social justice, and it creates an atmosphere of absolute hate. Um, so we speak about education. In fact, uh, we have to address and we have to, and, and we've always uh, 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 advocated in favor, of course, of education. That goes without saying uh, about anti-Semitism, about our history, about uh, Holocaust remembrance, and so on. But at the same time, uh, as we're fighting on different fronts, we have to keep in mind that this obsession with Israel bashing, um, as I said, it's, it's hidden in this way or it attempts to hide itself as, as a social justice um, uh, issue, is, is happening. And it's, it's seen not only would be in the universities, but in education now in general. Really, one has to ask oneself, why the obsession with Israel? I mean, if, even if you acknowledge the complexities of the issue in the middle, issues in the Middle East, why is this particular conflict of such interest? Why do we see selective indignation related to this conflict that is not equally aimed at other world so-called hot spots or areas of conflict? Um, and I could go on, maybe <laughs> from the Chinese occupation of Tibet to the Tigray War in Ethiopia, to the treatment of Uyghurs, to the conflict in Yemen. Uh, no other conflict commands the attention of people to the extent of the Arab-Israeli conflict. Um, why is this conflict... The, so, the focus of quote unquote social justice concern to the veritable exclusion of others. Why is turning a geopolitical conflict into a cloak for anti Semitism viewed as acceptable? It's obviously not acceptable, and it's that form of contemporary new anti Semitism that we saw um, showing its ugly face um, uh, through the many rallies that were held uh, Canada wide and uh, through which. Uh, uh, Jews were uh, subjected to Im intimidation and harassment okay. at, at, at levels um, that haven't been seen for uh, a, a very uh, long time in the sense of that spike in May. Um, 